what's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Flight Academy Kicks, a.k.a. Past the Flight Show, Flight Flex Luger. Come with you on, can you call your boy broke? Because I'm rich. And Chris Zeiss. Yeah. Um, so, we're currently in the mode of quarantine and chill. Um, ain't really much you can do but stay in the house. Uh, I keep saying I'm working in the studio. I haven't done it. I got shoe boxes all around. And... I haven't put up the rest of the shoe containers. Uh, I can't, quite frankly, I've been lazy lately. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. Like I'm, I've been really lazy, bro. I got so much. I got this wall to fill up. I got more containers need to go. I need. I got more shoes need to go in these containers. I just ain't been doing nothing. Uh, I just been chilling, relaxing. Nothing. I ain't been to the barber shop. Just, be, just become all a bum. That's what I've been doing. Just being a bum, man. So, I see on YouTube, they got this little trending thing. You know, when you bored at home, black people and other races as well. Mainly black people. Mainly black people known for this. We will create something to do. So, people have been doing challenges and stuff. If you've seen, if you follow me on IG, FlyTheCat underscore kicks with a Z. Hopefully, you do follow me. If you don't, make sure you follow me now. And make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit that subscribe button and hit the like button and comment on this video. So if you see people been doing different types of challenges, I did a little hot little freestyle, a little something slight, nothing serious. I got another freestyle I'm going to drop later this week where I'm going to really like unbuckle the pants and get loose. Yeah. That sound kind of weird, but I'm, I'm going to get busy on the track. I'm going to get busy on the track, bro, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, so um, people just been coming up with challenges, man. And So I see everybody got their top five sneakers in their collection. Well, I don't want to do my top five sneakers in my collection because all my sneakers not here. So it'd be unfair for me to do top five sneakers in my collection if I don't have all my sneakers here. I can't show you all my top five. And I don't want to cheat y'all by just throwing a video out knowing that it's not really my top five. I want to be honest. But what I did notice that the top five shoes that I hate that are in my collection, I have all those here. And it actually is a list of a couple other ones. Um, I've kind of ran into this thing as a sneaker collector where... I don't just pick up hype shoes, okay? So, for some of y'all who think, oh, y'all just hype beasts, whatever, I'm not a hype beast. I have all types of sneakers. I got Yeezys, I got Air Maxes, um, I got Team Jordans. Okay, not really Team Jordans. They like Russell Westbrooks, so it's not really Team Jordans, but I got LeBron's, um, I got James Harden shoes, uh, I got Balenciaga's, uh, Christian Louboutins. Like, I got different types of shoes. But, um, you know, if I like a shoe, I get it. I, I don't care if, if the mass majority of people like it. I, that's, that's just not me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about who all likes the sneakers. If it's a sneaker that I like, I'm going to cop the sneaker. And if you don't like it, all well, see me when you see me. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them type of things. I wear whatever sneakers I like, and I don't really care what nobody else think about my sneakers. You know what I'm saying? They my sneakers. You ain't buying their minds. But these are five sneakers that uh, I really probably could have held off on buying. Um... Now, granted, out of these five sneakers, I don't think I paid a lot of money for them. So I didn't lose a lot of money. But I could have been much wiser on the selection of these sneakers, okay? And they are the top five worst in my collection. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I do still wear some of these sneakers. I don't wear them out places. Like, if I got to run a Publix or Walmart, I might throw these sneakers on. Taking the trash out of the sun, I might throw these sneakers on. Or if I might have an outfit that go with it, I might wear it, but... Honestly, these sneakers I kind of like ran through, man. So they really ain't in bad condition, but they just ain't. You won't catch me at sneaker con with these sneakers on, unless one day I do decide to come to sneaker con with regular sneakers on. Then that'll be different. You never know. I might think about that, man. Just coming up with some dirty sneakers and see what people think about me. Anyway, so going into my top five worst sneakers in my collection, man. So I gotta start off. With number five, right? Now, granted, if some of you have these sneakers in your collection, this is based on my opinion, what I like, my truth on what I feel like are good in my collection, not good in my collection. And I really hope none of y'all have these on y'all feet while y'all watching this video. Because if you do have any of these shoes on your feet while you're watching my video, please let me know because that's going to be hilarious. But it's not a knock at anybody. So you, you wear what you like. Like I said, this is just me personally. My thoughts on it, but if you like the sneakers, rocking sneakers, don't pay me no attention. Do what you want. So, starting at number five, man, is these bad boys. Olympic sevens, man. Now, I know y'all about to go in like, bro, you tripping, bro. Them shoes fire, bro. I need a pair, bro. I don't even got a pair of those. Yeah, I don't really care about them, bro. Like, uh, honestly... 
I, I bought those shoes. I got the shoes for a little bit below retail. When I purchased the sneakers, I bought them for, um, mm, I'm going to pay 180 for them. They was a 9 out of 10. They wasn't really dead stock, but it just needed some money quick. And I had just got into the seven wave. And I was like, oh, I might try them. And I grabbed them, man, for 180. I figured I couldn't beat that. I think uh, retailer was 190 on them. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't pay too much for them. You know what I'm saying? 180 cash I gave, buddy. Um, he didn't even have the box for him, man. He was at like a sneaker store. Not store. He was at a sneaker show um, in my hometown. That's why I bought it. Um, in my hometown from this guy. And, uh, you know, he just didn't make money that day. He just wanted to make some quick money. Because I think he was selling for like 240 and I was like, bro, I'm not paying that much for shoes that's not dead stock. So I bought them dirt cheap, 180. Can't beat that. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't really wear them like that, man. I mean, I know a lot of people want to have that shoe in their collection. Yeah, it's just not for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do wear the sneakers sometimes, but I rarely wear it anymore. And I feel like they don't fit the same no more. For some reason, I don't know. Could have been my foot change or something. I don't know. They just don't fit the same on me no more. So I don't rock them. But number five, man, the Olympic Sevens. Um, like I said, now I like Sevens. I do like sevens. They're not my favorite. I know retro fourteens are my favorite, but that particular shoe, I'll probably get rid of that any day, man. Going on to number four, man. I feel like a lot of y'all can feel me when I say this, but these right here, platinum tint elevens, man. Um, now I'm gonna tell you these shoes right here. I hyped these shoes up so bad until I saw them. Okay. I ain't even gonna count. If you go back on my Instagram, I'm like, bruh, them 11s are fire. Like, those are fire, bruh. Musk. Like, I was in a review. Not a review. When I was talking, I don't I didn't have YouTube yet. But, like, I was talking at sneaker shows or, like, with other sneaker heads. And I'm like, bro, them platinum 10 11s gonna be dope, bruh. Like, bruh, you see the color of them bad boy with the trim of that red? The pictures was amazing. The pictures were amazing. Then I got them in hand. Not so much, man. For one, everybody and their mama got them. I just don't like the material on them, and they get dirty so quick. Like, you can't tell for holding them back. But when I zoom in, you see that? When I zoom in, they dirty. But don't worry. I can clean them with the rejuvenator. So make sure that you go click on the link in the bottom in the description. Use code Fly Academy, rejuvenator.com. Save yourself 10% to bring your shoes back to life. Back to the video. So look, man, I'm telling you, bro. Like, these right here, I really wear them, bro. Like, I, I don't know, bro. I just, I just can't get with them, man, bro. And I feel like they're increasing easily. Like, nah. Like, the pictures, before the review, they was fire. They was, these was my, like, I was in y'all ear like, bro, these the must cop. These where it's at. Y'all sleeping, y'all don't got them. That's not the way I feel anymore, man. So, that's just them, bro. So, that's the fourth one on the list, man. But I feel like some of y'all probably got a pair of your feet right now while you watching it. Let me know. But let's go on to the next one. The third one, man. These. Don't get it confused. No. It's not Concord Lows. No, no, no. These, my friend, are the Emerald Green Low 11s. The Easter 11 shoes. That's what these are right here. Now, I thought the shoe was going to be dope. I thought. But it has not met my expectation yet, man. Like I said, I bought this shoe for retail. So I didn't spend a lot on them. But they crease the first week of me wearing them, bro. I wanna, I wanna say the day I wore them, they started creasing. Like they started creasing right away, man. And I, I probably worn them one more time outside of that. But eleven lows, I, I, I don't know if I ever try eleven lows again. Now the Georgetown eleven lows, I do want to get those. But outside of that, nah, man, can't do some more. But the emerald green was a nice touch, man. And from afar. They look like Concord low 11s, and depending on what type of jeans you got on when they cover the tip of the shoe, like the top of the shoe, might look like you got Concord 11s on from far. But we don't need the flaws like that because I have Concord 11s. But these Emerald Green 11s, nope. That's another one. Regret mine. Could have left that in the store. Matter of fact, I should have kept them dead stock and then sold them for like $100 or somebody or did them in a giveaway. But, I mean, they had potential, man, but they just wouldn't be in my standard, man. All right, we're down to the last two, man. It was tough picking these last two. I didn't know who was going to edge out at number one. But it did take me long to figure that out. So, at number two, Bordeaux 12s, man. This shoe came out when I first started YouTube, bro. It was like two years, two, three years ago. 
I actually sold this shoe to a lot of celebrity clients, which is funny. So a lot of celebrity clients have this shoe. But these Border 12s, not cutting it for me, bro. They're not a bad shoe, but just not for me. And I hate with these 12, they have this inner, like, y'all see this part right here, right? I don't know if you can see this. This little piece right here that attached to the bottom, it makes the shoe so uncomfortable, bro. Like, if the tongue was just detached, I'd probably be better off. But with that attached tongue to the sole, it makes the shoe so uncomfortable, bro. Like, I, I, I ain't even gonna lie to you. It makes the shoe uncomfortable and it be rubbing against my pinky toe. And I just ain't got time for it, man. So, these came in at number two. Like I said, the spray is not bad on. And they're not really, they're not in bad condition like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're still in pretty decent condition. But if anything, I might go ahead and convert these to hooping shoes. Because hooping the toes ain't too bad. These might be my hooping shoes. These and them platinum 10 11s. But this is number two on the list, man. Worst shoe. I didn't have to get this shoe. I got it. I thought it was going to be dope. Like I said, that's why a lot of times when people post shoes that's dropping, if you don't haven't seen that shoe, don't be so quick to judge the shoe. Because a lot of people, when they post shoes, pictures, they post them with um, they post them with a filter on the picture. So it makes the shoe look different than what it actually is. So don't be fooled. But these right here, number two on the list. Nah. And this shoe. Drum roll, please. Hope y'all can hear that. Coming in at number one, the absolute worst shoe in my collection. I mean, and this shoe will stay as the worst shoe in my collection. The worst shoe. And it's a retro one. This is the crazy part. You know what I'm saying? It's a retro one. And what's even crazier is it has an OG colorway to it. So it's worse, and it has OG colorway. Now, before I bring this shoe up, I want to see if any of y'all guessed it correctly. Or what y'all think this shoe is. It's an OG color, and it's the worst shoe in my collection. I'm going to give y'all five seconds. All right, time's up. These right here, boy. The Shadow One Prime Knits. <laughs> These shoes is trash, bro. Listen. I don't have the Shadow Ones in my collection, right? I don't have the Shadow Ones in my collection, but I want them, all right? I really want the Shadow Ones. So when I get a chance, I'm going to get the Shadow Ones. But y'all not going to catch me to these. These are definitely my hoop shoes. Now, I'm going to keep it a butt with y'all. The material on this shoe is not bad. It's real soft. The shoe, and surprisingly, the shoe is comfortable. Well, this ain't it, Chief. This, this ain't it for me. Now, you see, like, you see how I can do this to the shoe, right? And it still keep its original form. <laughs> like, watch this. Like, bruh, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever I can do this to a shoe, and it keep its original form. This go matter of fact, this part gonna be my thumbnail. Be like, where's shoe in my collection? <laughs> but nah, man, these never work, bro. I can't do it, bro. You know? Matter of fact, I might rock these today just because, just because they the worst shoe. Ain't like I'm going anywhere. But that's the worst shoe, man. The Prime Knits. Prime Knits have been dropping with all different types of retro. We see them in the fours and all that. I can't do it, though, man. I got. I really got to get the OG sneakers, the OG Shadow uh, ones, man. The Prime Knits not it, bro. Y'all won't catch me in those, promise you. The only reason y'all know I got them in my collection is because I'm showing this video. Outside this video, y'all would have never seen these shoes, man. So those are the top five worst shoes in my collection, all right? Or either bottom five, I don't know, top five, whatever. Those are five worst shoes in my sneaker collection. Um, now, I have, I really do have an impressive collection, and I'm going to do a collection video one of these days. I don't know when I'm going to do it, man. But I got I got sneakers in here, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? Once I get everything set up how I want to, then I'll be able to show y'all everything, man. But those are the worst five in, in your collection, man. If you want, in the comment section, drop the worst five you got, man. Let's see what y'all have in y'all collection. And yes, man, I will do top five sneakers in my collection. Once I get the sneakers in here, I'll do that for y'all. Um, But yeah, that's that's the worst five, bro. Y'all y'all never catch me out in those sneakers, so... You know, enjoy the laugh while you can, man. But in the comment section, let me know what y'all think about the worst five sneakers in my collection. Also, let me know what's the worst five pickups y'all got. It don't have to be Jordans. It could be Yeezys. Um, it could be uh, Pumas, uh, Sketches. I don't know. Whatever the worst, man. You know, just let me know, man. But make sure, man, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, Flight Academy Kicks. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on IG, Flight Academy, score Kicks. We're trying to hit that 20K, so I need y'all help with that. I mean, until next time, man, y'all know how we rock it, man. Take flight with the flies. You ain't flying. We just ain't flying right. Hustle and motivate. Lone little nip, man. And we out. It's all I'm trying to do. Hustle and motivate.